Thank you for joining us. I'm Sheila Knoll. I serve on the Board of Supervisors representing District 2, and I've been on the board of 20 years. In fact, I'm going into my 21st year. Charlie and I moved to Kiln Creek after living in California, just after he retired from the Navy. We actually moved about 19 times in our life. I've served on many different boards and commissions. I'm an inveterate volunteer. Uh, the ones probably you'd be most interested in is that I've served on the Board of Supervisors. I've served on the local advisory committee to the Chesapeake Bay. That was a political appointee by the governor. I stayed as long as I could and now I am working with the Workforce Development Consortium, which I think is very, very important. We need to train people not just for higher education, but technical education as well. And it's an economic engine because we bring people to the area. A business comes and we say, we can train your employees if there's something particular that you need. And so it's a very important part of the whole area in the region, the peninsula. That's always a very good question. Actually, I had never thought about serving in public life. My husband served for 30 years in the Navy, and actually it's good for me to be able to pay back that service to the community. But it was because friends that I met when I came to York County asked me to run for office. And so I talked to my husband. I sa he said as long as he didn't have to run, he would support me, and he has. He's been my sign master over the years, and we've made a very good team. I'm having this interview done at the library, as you can see, because this is where I began my service to York County as a member of the library board. And I was given my marching orders. I was told, please help us build a library. And so one of my proudest accomplishments has been being able to facilitate the building of this library and bringing the Y to the area as well because it's community and York County is a community. We talk about being a family affair, well it is a family affair and we have to offer something to everybody. We support the schools, we support fire and life safety, we, is, we support the environment, but we need to support the people of all ages in the county. When I first was elected, I had an automobile that I called the Nomobile because my district stretched all the way up to Williamsburg and it took in Lackey and I was spent an awful lot of time on the road. But as population increased, the district uh, increased down in this area. And so we've got uh, Greenlands were built and Foxwood was built and we had to also supply more opportunities for citizens so you understand that we have Mc Reynolds Sports Complex, the wonderful work that we've done down on the waterfront to bring in tours. The county is, has grown and anything that any organization that grows has growing pains. And, with the downturn in the economy, we focused not on the county as much as we did the services that we were providing to our citizens because we did not want to raise taxes, but we wanted to keep the same level of service as we've had in the past because they deserve it. Unfortunately, we've cut a lot of things out as far as the county operations were concerned, the capital projects that we needed to do. Uh, they've been put on the back burner. Now it's time for us to really look at that. Uh, we have a very limited taxing authority. One of the issues that I hope that in the future we can move forward on is perhaps getting the General Assembly to understand that and at least give us authority to increase the meals tax. Thank you for watching this interview. I hope that you've learned a little bit more about me. You can always reach me by phone or email. That's what I tell my constituents. But you all are my constituents, and I love to hear from you. So thank you very much. You have a good day.